yes. Oh man, that was a, that was a good time, Mike. Yeah. I'm so I'm so yeah, glad yeah, you yeah, joined yeah, us. Awesome. I hope you didn't mind me throwing you under the bus all those times. No, no, for yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit, it's the Yes Man. Yes Man. Uh, Mike, uh, you know the Yes Man, right? I do, I do. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very familiar with the, with the Yes Man. Uh, uh, yes Man, you, you, you've you seen Mike live once or twice. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, well, uh, well, I mean, I'd hate to out you, but you were singing your favorite song of his recently. Yes. How, how, how did it go again? <laughs> 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 now, now I want Mike to make that an actual song so that <laughs> so it's not a punch out. <laughs> Wait, you wanted him to make it a song? Yeah. Can, can you make anyway? See you later. A song? Uh, uh oh yeah. I, I think I, I think I could even write a yes man song as well. Oh using, yeah, no, just using give me, like your version of tequila, but instead of tequila, it's yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but um. But um Nah, that's that's I I Ah, uh, fuck me. Yes. <laughs> no, the, uh yes. It's a yes. Is that a yes? It's a yes. Never know it's a yes. No! It's a yes. It's a yes. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. You have to keep saying no, and then I'll come in, then just lay uh, out, and I'll scream yes. Like, ah. So your only words are no, and then I come in with yes. No, Justin. No. No. Yeah, no, come on, no, man. No. no. No way. No way. No. It's no, not no, happening. no. Would you give it up? No. No, 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 no. You got no chance, no, son. No, 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 what are you doing? No, Still no, trying. No. Come on. No, 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 no. Won't no. happen. No, 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 no. No, 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 Never happen. No, 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 no. Just give up. Yes, yes. No, 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 all right, you've convinced us. <laughs> anyway, say fucking yes. Well, anyway. <sighs> anyway, so. here's the majority decision from the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> Rooms overturned. Oops. <laughs> Imagine if the dissenting justices had to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a better world, right? Yeah, it really would be. It really and would then be. meanwhile, there's the fucking intern from the Washington Post that has to, like, because they don't have, they like, run. They gotta run. They gotta run the tape like, out of cassette. Like, ah. No, 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 no. Yes, no. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, no. Ah. I would I would like to believe that in the Martian Constitution it's written in there that 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 all decisions of a certain level of importance have to have a parody song associated with them to to tell the story <laughs> and it must be like like just just relax a little just relax. Well, isn't there, isn't there uh, 
what's the is rainbow? Somebody, Randy Rainbow, doesn't he? Haven't you seen his? His he does those uh, those internet like Lavar Burton. Poli- what's that? Lavar Burton. Yeah, reading no, rainbow. No, 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 no. no you're no, thinking no, of no, reading there's, rainbow. There's, there's, no, 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 because no, no, it was. No, hey, no, he, 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 he wasn't like actually rainbow? blind. A lot of people. I know what you're about to say. He's not actually blind, and the gizmo does it. What he can see. Yeah. His name's Lavar yeah. Burton. Uh, 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 oh, don't oh, uh, 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 don't take my word for it. Read it yourself. Yeah. Right. Uh, and there was even a theme song. Sorry, that's what you were thinking. Of. Oh yeah, yes, butterfly yes, in yes. the sky. Uh, yeah. I, I want punch this guy. Yeah. I got really Take high, yeah. and then I fly. I'm, I'm high on ketamine. It's called a K hole. It's called a K hole. How is K hole? Can you do print? that again? Get in my K hole. I can't move anywhere. <laughs> my skin feels like paper. <laughs> this is really specific. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, oh. well, let's take a look at some show titles at nightattack.showbot.tv, including our top one. This episode paid for it by Wolf Glenn 99 By the way, no shit. Holy God. Jesus. Wolf Thank Glenn. you so much. Tell you what, man. Look. Uh, You've shown us more kindness than my fucking father. For real. Uh, <laughs> that's legit. Look, there's somebody somewhere in some courtroom that's waiting for a parody magi- mu- musician to uh, no, sing a No, parody song. magician would be great. <laughs> parody magician to sing about your, uh, your uh, 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 decision about indecent exposure. But uh, you whipping out your dick was pretty great. I'm not going to lie. This was entirely consensual. It was amazing. Yeah, we loved your dick, man. Big, brave reviews. Five stars on <laughs> Five <Yelp>. stars. <laughs> Five stars. Five stars would, would accept again. Would accept your dick. <laughs> not five balls? Do I also five. five balls. I feel like Let's five balls. As many as you need, baby. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I ain't prude. Hey, I got a question. Like, if, mm. if a genie popped up right now and said, I could snap my fingers and you yeah. can add a third testicle, w- would you take it? Hey, before what? you ask, before you ask, yes, I would definitely take an act on the road. <laughs> going oh, on my third God. testicle. Of course, Brian, all Brian thinks of is like, oh, Jesus. Number one, in bar scams alone. <laughs> I never pay for a drink again in my life. See the mystical man with two and a half ball. <laughs> I ever it's had a deep Brian cut. Somebody <laughs> remembers. <laughs> One of the first moments I ever had with Brian where I realized that everything comes back to the business element. Every Everything, every like, I don't know, would you take this for this? And it's like... Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, like, uh, could I uh, plug in? I mean, certainly the Santa Monica freak show would take me, but is, is this a national act? Can I go on Carson? Can I spoil Carson? Can I, can I spoil the Modern Rogue episode we shot last weekend? Yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> you and Jason were doing some, uh, some article-based episodes. <laughs> yes. And it became a very quick running gag of you asking... Uh, of of you figuring out how you would work different uh, diseases into diseases. your ma- into your magic set into your stage show, it's a real thing. <laughs> we I have- can be double jointed. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil the whole bit on that, but, no, but, but yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a real thing. It was, uh, uh, but we will if they get to one million right now. Everybody, <laughs> go sub, go. Uh, uh, right. See, I will say this. Uh, 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 I have some. Uh, totally balls out plugging to do uh do the patreon for the politics thing at takepoliticsseriously.com highest we've ever gotten is 558 patron uh, patrons uh uh looking to get to 560 if we do 560 on thursday i will do a two-hour character karaoke uh wow. wherein uh, uh i'll do twitch sings i will sing as any character you guys want i'll do it for two fucking hours so if you've ever been interested in uh, political stuff and backing me on the Patreon or you listen to it, uh, but you haven't backed, then head on over there right now and uh, uh, holler at your boy. Yeah. And that's only six more people. So Yeah, it's awesome. Check oh, out. shit. Somebody dropped. Is that 555? Oh, okay. So you didn't need, you need to say that part. I don't think. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oopsie doodle on somebody the timing. Dropped on me. Just don't tell shit. me next time. I'll fake a Patreon pledge. For you. Man, I'll tell you what. It came right after fucking, uh, uh, right after a Drop Brian's episode. Not, no, yeah, no. That, that, that makes sense. Mm. That tracks. What'd you guys talk about? Is that already out? It's uh, uh, Yeah, H. Ross Perot. Oh, it's all about Ross Perot. That's, yeah. right, that's right. There you go. Check it out. Bonerwars.com. That's the only way. It's so much faster than typing politics, politics, politics.com. Bonerwars.com. Don't ever get rid of the domain. Oh, Boner Wars? It's not even mine. It's somebody else's. <laughs> That's awesome. Well. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 take a look at titles, please. Uh, we also have um, Wolfgland 99 problems, but a bit... Man, bit I... I, I uh, it's very tempting to incentivize 
more days like today with Wolf Glen 99. But I don't know that the title should should be like I'm not ready Wait, to go full here? European yeah. football. Got a taffy ass. <laughs> it's taffy European. Ass. <laughs> the end of the curse would be very good. Uh, your license has been revoked. Hey, so <laughs> pescophile. Pescophile. Uh, let's see. The original the Taffy. The original Taffy ass. I wish we could have two names just so we could. it could be Taffy ass and the original Taffy ass. <laughs> or maybe we could do Taffy ass colon the original Taffy ass. Uh, Wait, didn't we just do short butt? Like, are we, just gonna, are we on a runner? <laughs> yeah. Butt That's a long butt team? we did before. Yeah. How yeah. short is her butt is what we did last week. Yes. How taffy is her ass? <laughs> Although, no, that sounds gross. That that's sounds taffy like, ass, yeah. exclamation mark. Taffy, yeah, that's taffy Cat ass. Cat vagina facts. Oh, no, wait. Then we get back into the that's thing, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. The Wrath of Khan is not a bad summary of the first act. Mm, that's all right. Wrath yeah. of Khan's pretty good. I Only Smoke Pot Once is pretty funny. Yeah, let's do salmon. Mic on mic action. I love that one that's because it gives a plug to Mike TV. I don't remember Justin as a big fat <laughs> that, idiot. That, that was Justin in his pity party. Oh, that's at the me. End. That's my. It's a, uh, what happens when you look me up on Wikipedia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get off my rave. Get off my rave. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my rave is fucking one of the funniest things. <laughs> <laughs> my entire life. Grandpas are from Werther's. Grandmas are from Strawberries. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the longest butt. Fired license, reverse hey boss, hey so such. Oh, that's very dumb. Um, <laughs> a penis is grabbed. We did. Oh, I typed that. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I remember that? Yeah. Like, who would say <laughs> such a? Whoops. <laughs> right, let's, let's take a look. The Wrath of Khan is pretty solid. Now, let me just push this here. I understand, Brian, that you are saying uh, uh, that you are uncomfortable with putting his name in there, and I'm not saying that I'm for it. I just will say this, that if we were to do it, we would effectively be saying you have to give the show $1,000 <laughs> to have your name your name be the uh, in, in the title. Okay. Or at least, like, we could then say, look, there's only one Wolf Glen 99. The Wolf Glen 99 is the thing that do it. You want to see what happens What to get your name in the title? You better give much more than $1,000. Can we just make it a little more clever than this episode paid for by Wolf Glen 99? Because, yes. uh, first of all, factually, we have we have a bunch of other contributors. But but I do love the, uh, uh, man. Wolf uh, Glen 99, the original Taffy ass. <laughs> what if we did... The Wrath of Khan, parentheses, with Mike TV, parentheses, P prod, Wolf Glen 99, like they do in the, in the uh, music credits. Uh, 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 oh, that, hold on. Like, uh, The Wrath of Khan brought to you by Wolf Glen 99 or something, or, uh, that's a, that's, that's still, I mean, that gives us a creative title, but that's, I feel like that's equally presented, as presented presented without commercial interruption well wait how, how about well, i think wolf, we interrupted how about, a lot how, how about we lot, pick actually. a title and then we just add wolf glenn 99 presents colon <laughs> whatever the oh, title yeah. of the episode yeah. is okay wolf yeah. glenn 99 presents the mike rough. on mike action yeah <laughs> I, I can go for that i would say my vote's taffy ass and i have to go to the bathroom I'm beer. okay uh, <laughs> Wolf Girl 99 presents Taffy Ass featuring Mike TV. Yeah, I'm I'm down with that. That 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 works. All right. Well, thank you to who who's uh, the Leninia for the the highest ranking Taffy Ass vote, and Wolf Girl 99 for bringing us this episode, and Mike TV for also being in the title. Uh, I'm gonna go write an email. Oh my god. Can gosh. you hold down the fort, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Um. So. Yeah, man, that was awesome. Four hours from now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna be uh... get my daughter up and go hop on a plane. That's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my 11 year old daughter to the domestic airline with the most 737 maxes, Good. and then Good we're work. gonna fly yeah. to the highest concentration of earthquakes in North America. Yeah. But uh, although, although the. Uh, the uh, earthquakes are only getting bigger, so that's that's something to look forward to. You know, yeah. man, so much to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah. 
Yeah. That's uh, yeah. These are these are the pre-shocks. <laughs> That's the. Uh, no. So wait. So so is, when is Penny flying out? What's that? It, when is Penny flying out? Uh, following week. For oh yeah. San oh, Diego Comic Con. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, the, I mean, obviously the hours, that like the the being up in four hours always sucks, but yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, but are you getting back? You're getting a family and and hanging out there for for a little while before the con gets fired up. I uh, I think the first like things start happening in the evening, but. Uh, it's one of those deals where it's like we're going to show up early enough that I don't think a hotel will have us. So mm. weirdly, we're going to have to like spend three hours on an airplane, land, drive an hour down, and then. Uh, oh, you're flying to John Wayne. And, and, well, and, and then and then have to have to um, uh, I don't know go to like try to get into Galaxy's Edge, maybe yeah. not be able to do so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, oh no! Did you see. hear the the word that it's not as busy as? was expected uh that that is that is what i got from our inside man uh djz zach holder uh, tom said was, as much was, too was but also that, if 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 vidcon is a, if there's a convention around the corner i know anthony carboni was saying he's trying to get a crew together to go during comic-con okay twitter he was saying this on twitter i uh I I've, I've held off on on reaching out to carboni because it felt like kind of a nuclear button to reach out directly to the host of the star wars show for help yeah. to go to the star wars uh, thing sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh uh I, you know if there was a way for us to just go do it you know without a oh thing. by the way he's streaming on twitch now everybody go follow a carboni on oh cool twitch. right on what, yeah. what's he doing playing games you know these fuckers they play games on twitch what asshole oh, twitch <laughs> what no yeah the man uh, it, yeah, no, there was a whole thing I was reading about how uh, they had they built this whole virtual queue uh, thing that they've only re they only had to turn on the first day that they went outside of the um, uh, like you had to know somebody or be staying in a property uh, uh, to go and and they're wondering uh, they've actually lifted some of the restrictions on the uh, uh, annual pass holders like they only basically had like you could only get in on the annual passes uh, if you had like the the best version or the best version plus mm -hmm. and now they've kind of lifted some of those restrictions because the demand past that wasn't as strong as they thought i guess it kind of makes sense right i mean they have a ride the other big ride is not even open yet and the rest of it is like very expensive experiences right yeah like a couple hundred dollars for a lightsaber <laughs> or like a hundred bucks for a, these little droid things or you know you go to the cantina but I can see where it in the entire I mean, slate it is definitely, expensive. It, it definitely scared me off from wanting to go for like a year. Yeah. Like I, I definitely was not keyed up to go. I, I didn't want to run into the buzzsaw of initial crowds. And now I am more likely to go now that people were like, oh, shit, it's actually not all that fucking packed. Mm -hmm. Huh. Um. But yeah, that being said, uh, I'm actually more excited for the Disney World version because I'm sure it'll be bigger. Oh, there may. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I think that one comes out in uh, August. Is that yeah. right? Wow, mm -hmm. this year. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. I think I think we're gonna do uh, uh, Disney around Christmas time. I think I think we may piece out of the family thing because from what I hear, it's like the most busy week of the year is the week after Christmas and the least busy week of the, the week year before when everyone's before. working. So it's like, well, why don't we go before? Yeah, that's clever. Um, yeah. Smart. That's yeah, cool. that's smart. Uh, I think it's dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I agree with you, Justin. I... Oh, fuck. God damn it. Now the tide's turning. Brian, I didn't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what. Uh... uh Brian, I know you have a super early morning, uh, uh, so if if you want to peace out, please please feel free. Yeah, I mean, uh, but you know how it goes. It's like you do a show, you get all amped up, and it's like I ain't exactly tired any t any moment yet. Mm. You know, you know what can help with that? Uh, just ketamine. Climbing, climbing. Okay, yeah. yeah but, dude, but, but the experience, like, if I have a lot of it and I start to experience <laughs> yeah, yeah. another dimension, yeah, yeah, is, yeah. is there a word for what that means? So like, like a K pit or some yeah, sort of yeah, K yeah, ditch yeah. or yeah, it's a K cave. K cave. K cave. I, I just want to hear more of those dumb facts. Can you pull up that article? <laughs> yeah. I just want to hear all of the things and get angry at all of them. 
The party drugs thing is ridiculous. I always that that actually is one of my like most irrational anger things is people telling me that Molly is different from ecstasy as if mm. fucking there was ever like the FDA ever stepped in and is like yeah, yeah oh, this clearly, this is the amount of MDMA that's in ecstasy yeah. it's like fucking no there was some asshole mm. who bought it from another asshole who bought it from another asshole nobody knew shit yeah. and you don't know shit you yeah. snot nose fucker just cause you bought it with fucking Venmo from some <laughs> asshole you met at a goddamn EDM festival doesn't mean that you know anything else about what's in there than fucking what anybody else said back in 99. Uh, we also had uh, in 1885, Park Davis Pharmaceutical Company started selling cocaine kits, making it convenient to benefit benefit from cocaine's medicinal properties. That's Dude, nice. that marketing is on point, though. Cocaine, quote, can supply the place of food, make the coward brave, the silent eloquent, and render the sufferer insensitive to pain. That's awesome. Uh, years of cocaine can use can and has led to the erosion of the tissue around the nasal cavity. Who oh the fuck oh doesn't know this? That's, Who the fuck skipped third say. grade? What the say. fuck? That's third grade cocaine class. I was in third grade. That, that's a that's a true fact. We're not gonna that's click a, on this image. By but, the way, uh, that's not that's no bullshit. I went to fucking public school in Florida. Like there was plenty of teachers <laughs> with blown out fucking noses. <laughs> We're not gonna fuck? click on this image, but you can pretty clearly tell that this is a hole in the roof of someone's yeah. mouth. So. Uh, let's see. We did those ones. Sorry. It would take about 37 pounds of fresh mushrooms to lethally overdose, but you'd probably have a bad trip long before that. Yeah. That's uh, actually not a bad yeah, fact. Yeah, that's okay. a fun I, fact. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know offhand exactly the pound, the, the, the tonnage of mushrooms yeah, that you and, and how could you pot 37 pounds? Like, how do they that's even... That's a lot. Like, that's, that's I impossible. I can't eat uh, that's ridiculous. 30 pounds of, yeah, yeah. of, of, of shiitake. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's no... Like, yeah, there's... there's who, what what, 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 what what is this? You're next to Kobayashi and your yeah. uh, uh, Nathan's exactly. hot dog okay. is yeah, yeah. sponsoring and I, this. And I promise and... you, I promise you, 37 pounds <laughs> will not. Well, I guess yeah. No, that's that's how it goes down, Brian. Fucking Joey Chestnut finds out he has terminal cancer. <laughs> He's like, I found out the only way I ever wanted. <laughs> Non-fatal doses of MDMA in cool, quiet environments can become lethal when taken in warmer, more crowded places. Uh. No, you're fucking. You're getting dehydrated and you're falling down in warmer and crowded like like yes no people have fucking passed out at concerts and shit mm -hmm. apparently it interferes with the body's ability to cool itself down uh jason and brian asks what if joey chestnut ate 30 pounds seven pounds of shrooms guess what the largest pay-per-view event in cables history that's what <laughs> i would dial in for that uh, that, uh, in fact, that last fact is why it's usually inaccurate to say someone who died while on MDMA died from an overdose. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no shit, fuckwad. Uh, let's see. Fuck you. God damn it. Uh... Uh, both what is this? You LSD and magic mushrooms have actually shown promise in treating addiction to other drugs. Oh, Christ alive. They're, yeah, they're literally Dosing, invented yeah. for the purpose of therapy. For Why would this be? <clears throat> so it's, it's cocaine. Fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. MDMA may also help treat people with post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, that's something where it's like, I know it, but I, I don't know if everybody knows that it was used. There. Like, it's, it, it, that's been like a recent thing that like has become more publicized. No, but so. it really wasn't. The original studies before it was made illegal, it was, it was made for the purpose so, of yeah, treating like, PTSD yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in, and, in the and, 80s. And, and I know that I know that it was often used. Um, by psychiatrists, you know, to, like people people that were having serious like difficulties talking about and, and uh, about certain aspects of their whatever their issues were, they, they'd give them doses of MDMA and then they'd be like, "All right, this one makes 15. me mad." Crystal meth gets you high AF because it can actually penetrate brain cells. It's more than three times as strong as cocaine. Both make you high by causing dopamine to build up in the brain rather than being reabsorbed, and the high lasts longer too. Is this uh, this news to anybody? <laughs> yeah. Crystal meth bad. I've never say? done crystal meth myself, but uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I would I would say that is a, a thing that I don't I I, I won't f shake my fist at it in the same way that I did the other stuff. Uh, how about that trailer where Eric Andre says to the documentary filmmaker, "Yeah, no, you definitely should have smoked meth with the amazing Jonathan." <laughs> what does it? Uh, 
the the things that I have seen about that film is that he does do math or he does speed with Jonathan. Uh, yeah, the amazing Jonathan. I very much look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Uh, not uh, be shocked, uh, man. That is accurate to stories that I have heard. I've I've heard there are few magicians whose partying becomes legendary. Uh, uh, his is one of them, and not in the fun way. In the like, we want to know who does a bunch of fucking art nerd. Uh, and for context, we're talking. Hulu has bought a new uh, documentary about the Amazing Jonathan from someone who had access to the Amazing Jonathan, and then uh, when he was skeptical, seemed to lose some of that access. So yeah, uh, that's coming out in a few weeks. It's, well, and then they found out that there was another documentary coming out that was being made, right. and it gets into some questions that I have thought about. I, I, I dared not ask, but the, the trailer dares ask questions that I have I have wondered about. Yeah. Hmm. Because you no know, roofies are ten times more potent than Valium? <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. But we we suspected right. as much. Thank you, BuzzFeed, for this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit, my drink got valumed. Oh wait, <laughs> no. I, I just probably no, this calmed down a little bit. <laughs> That's why I had such a relaxing time because my <laughs> drink got valued. <laughs> that valued. first one, Molly and Ecstasy are essentially the same thing these days. The fucking qualifiers, Molly and mm-hmm. Ecstasy, Arson. just yeah. say this. Yeah. Molly equals no, Ecstasy. For real, I've gotten into fights with kids where they'll, I'll be like, oh, they're like, oh, Molly, oh yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it's fucking Ecstasy. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Not. There's just so much. There's just a lot more MDMA. It's like pure MDMA. Well, like, I think that's the. Pe- it's like, they're, ba- they're basically yeah. saying like, fucking no. I mean, no. Uh, 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 fucking Pepsi is like. Listen, it's the choice of a new generation. Like <laughs> yes! that's you know that's what it is. It says it on the can. It's the choice of a new generation. So you know, it's not the same. It's a semantic thing. Oh, it's not the same. Oh, I like getting high and going to fucking EDM shows. Like, guess what, fuckers? I, I, this, this all happened before and it'll happen again. I hope fucking all these lessons that you're learning now at some yeah, point, yeah, some that, 30 years younger than you, fucking throws it back in your face. Yeah, the fuck. drug, like the drug dealer guy, like, like the people creating the drugs are like, you know, man, the kids today are a lot more savvy. We need to really up the dose of MDMA. <laughs> Otherwise, they're not going to be buying it, man. I just like, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, like, and, like you're totally right. We could take, we could, we could split our profits right down the, like we just cut them right in half by just doubling up on our doses and selling them for the same price. I mean, and and to redirect the hate where it belongs, which is for BuzzFeed, I find it very unnecessary that number eight on this list was Brian Brushwood is a mediocre magician. I don't know <laughs> yeah, why they would say that, yeah. absent up. of it's any context. You should, you should, we should cold call them and make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. yeah, weed and marijuana are essentially the same thing <laughs> did you know that a vape pen of weed is essentially the same thing as smoking oh. a joint of marijuana what yeah. oh, God. <laughs> did, you know the did, active- did you know that a highball is roughly the same as a beer did you know that food is eventually poop? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually, I had a, uh, I actually had a bit of a difficult time putting this quiz together. The last time we did this was two years ago, so most of the ones that we had today were from 2017. Mm. They don't do listicles like these as much anymore, hmm. honestly. And I think it's probably easier for them to kind of the listicle format, right, where it's like headline and photo and little bit of text. Um, I think it's just easier for them to talk about little things a lot in that style and pat it out with tweets and reaction gifts. Well, I think the problem was is that those that format and then the slideshow format was effectively pioneered so you would have more real estate to put ads, slideshows being the more crass version where you're literally like impression, impression, impression. Yeah. Uh, but those were when you were selling a shit ton of banner ads or you're selling, uh, uh, you know, uh, you would just literally have more space on a page that you could plaster more shit on, but that's kind of falling apart. So now it's like, why are we writing these like super long scrolling down kind of things when we can probably condense it into a shorter version? Yeah. I mean, effectively, it's the reason why all of journalism is falling apart is that display ads are are fucking off a cliff. And yeah. so now 
everybody is freaking out. So the next time you read some dumb trend piece of like, oh my God, the world has lost its commitment to truth, which is why journalists are going uh, going hungry, unemployment at an all time high. It's like no, people just aren't buying this play yet. Well, and plus mm, also, Mark he, he, here is uh, here is the only hesitation I have from uh, paying for online journalism is because it feels like I am I am subscribing to a particular flavor of the truth, and I don't like that. Like what I desperately want is some kind of cable-like uh, subscription where it's like, charge me 20 bucks a month, let me read everybody across yeah, the spectrum. Yeah, that, that's, but, but that doesn't but, exist. And but, I, I think I'm, part of the problem is like, how do you divvy that up? Because you look at a Spotify model and the artists aren't getting paid much anyway. Yeah. And so like, is it time reading articles? How many articles you read? Which website you go to? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why Apple couldn't get anybody but the LA Times and like, was it half of the Wall Street Journal on their Apple News Plus right. thing? It, it's uh, uh, for newspapers, and I can I can mostly speak to newspapers, not magazines, uh, although they're a fucking disaster too. Mm -hmm. um, but newspapers are probably the more relevant format because they produce much more content. Uh, they're bad at business. They've always been bad at business. Mm -hmm. They don't realize how bad they've been at business because they've always been able to catch a certain tailwind and and have that be what they make their bones on but now it's like when, when when that whole when all the apple stuff was coming out the new york times and the washington post were like oh we would be loath to ever give up uh, uh access to our paywall we must maintain our paywall we must have this relationship with our readers and it's like dude your paywall sucked a butt until the 2016 election and then you got the greatest gift of all time by having a super chaotic presidency. Your political coverage has dr uh, driven all of your paywall access. It's driven all of your clicks. It's where you put all of your resources. And guess what? Either after this election, we're going to have a more boring version of the thing that you've already done, or you're going to have a more boring president because it'll be a Democrat and not Donald Trump. Either way. Fucking end times are coming. End times are coming for these newspapers. It is all going to fucking crash, and it will crash while Brian Brushwood is in the Disney version of Galaxy's Edge uh, <laughs> this Christmas. Or, 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 sorry, no, next Christmas. A year from then. Uh, It'll be also after the 2020 great. election. Would, would you like to join us? I mean, it's not quite Food and Wine Festival, but I think we'll have a pretty I'll good you, time. Well, we might. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's a whole thing. I'm currently in, in negotiations on how how often we're going to go east. But uh, 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 I think it'd be, it'd be super fun. Speaking of... Uh, Pour one out for, for Mad Magazine. Oh Ugh. yeah, very sad. Can, uh, can I can I tell you? I, I I know there are many many people who made that wonderful institution happen, mm -hmm. but um, one of my most joyful memories was the fact that uh, uh, co-host of the Gizwiz, uh, Dick DiBartolo, uh, and longtime contributor to Med, mm -hmm. the fact that he came out and saw me at one of my college shows in in Manhattan was and said nice things and I mean just that whole experience there's no yeah. words for it when you you know when you're a kid growing yeah. up and and somebody's a legend and then they're kind enough to say nice things about yeah, your amen. stage show yeah. it was it was really wonderful and I feel bad for the new staff that was brought on to kind of handle the to relaunch. rejuvenate stuff uh, you know it's uh, everything I heard is like they Allie really Gertz Allie and, Gertz yep. especially really they all put yeah they're, they're all under I saw an interesting thing on Twitter um, I saw an interesting thing on Twitter of like how you could have saved Matt or how you could have done it differently. Oh, I don't know. And have it be a comic book instead. Huh. Treat it like a comic, a smaller. A oh, smaller, like a smaller format. A smaller like format. Like comic shape. Yeah. Huh. Focus on, on illustrative work. Uh, maybe do some written stuff. Scale it back so it's not a big magazine thing. I don't know. It was an interesting idea. I mean, Jack is saying it's not it, Matt, it, but I mean. That's that's a lot of change for a model that is built. I mean, remember, and, all these magazines and magazines and newspapers, they're built from the form factor out. They're built from like these are the deals that we have. The first thing all right, let's say we all wanted to start a magazine at any point in history. The first question we have to ask ourselves is what's our form factor? Mm -hmm. What is our deal on and, what we're getting on printing? Not, how 
how, how are we shipping it? Like that's that's the first thing that you do. So you can't just say, oh yeah, well we'll we'll turn this magazine that has these distribution deals and has this deal with printing, and we're just gonna do it in a totally different form factor. It just it doesn't work like that. You might sure. as well and, start and, a new but thing. I mean, I think, that they re, they revived Mad, right? I mean, I think, that, that's I mean, kind of the I, wish thinking here is that. I think that's the I think that's the problem is is that is that the thing that Mad, that Mad used to be is it used to lampoon like back when there was only four channels to watch and back when back when you know it was like there was Star Wars and the Terminator and that was like like you know like I like they could drill into because again their primary demographic was fucking boys you know boys the ages of like of like what like nine to thirteen fourteen so they they could they could tap into this like the 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 diaspora of of crazy like geek culture is it's so vast now it's like how do you how do you how do you do this i mean you can do game of every Thrones, month you know? you're gonna be a, yeah. a month behind on the yeah, game yeah, of Thrones yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 and that's and that's and so the things so and so i think i just think that 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 the that that model the way that the way that they're delivering the content as much as i miss it and as much as i, I mean you know like it's it, i i don't think it i don't think it, it's it's as agile enough to really do what it was that they did and mm -hmm. and controlled and owned would, for 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 decades you know would, would it be a fair rephrasing of of your statement that um essentially the nerds became the jocks in a yeah. world yeah. where where yeah. where there is uh, what was counterculture talking about geek stuff mm -hmm. is now just culture where yeah. where the yeah. dominant yeah. biggest yeah. movies are mcu movies yeah like like um that was a subversive way to get countercultural takes but in uh, the age of the internet where 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 you know if, if you want somebody to do a takedown of the mcu culture yeah you, you don't need to subscribe to mad magazine that's exactly to get right that, that's exactly right, right. there's there's a hundred there's a hundred different like you can just google it once and there's a hundred different options you have kind of doing the same thing mad does and they're doing it a lot more myopically so there's there's the one person that's going to give you the really in-depth rant on on why star wars is the worst thing that's ever been ever been you know and and so whatever you want to like whatever's going to work with your particular taste you can find it and it's like so mad i just think mad was they were just they they were at, they filled this niche for decades like i mean i cuz they were i had a subscription to mad and i and i kept my i kept them until maybe about Nine or ten years ago, like, so like I, I, I just couldn't give them up. You know, can so. can, can can I offer a weird uh, take? Uh, Mad was intended as counterculture, but to me, at the age of ten, eleven, twelve years old, it's how I encountered culture. I learned yeah. it through the lens of that. Yep, yep. Um, I am still experiencing that to this day with institutions like Red Letter Media. Like like their re rewatch series or rewind or I forget what it's oh. called, but but it's like like when they go back and watch bad movies, like I know these movies by reputation. I also know I will never invest the time to watch them. Yeah. But I will definitely sit there and play Hearthstone and listen for forty five minutes as they point by point describe to me everything about this movie, and I pretty much get this movie, and yeah. now I get the cultural gestalt of it, and yeah. I understand yeah. why it's mockable and so on. Mm -hmm. Like um, there are so many other other ways to. In, in, I don't know. It, it it almost makes me uh, want to figure out if we can come up with uh, with another way to fill that niche that uh, uh, that's left open. I mean, certainly when it comes to video uh, uh, and internet delivery, I, I think that that's there. The the, the question for Mad was, uh, you know, what is funny in a written form right now? Hmm. Like, serious question. Like, what? I mean, like things are good. Like comic books have a certain lifespan, and I mean, uh, I mean, and some of them are funny, but like I don't know. I mean, books maybe, but yeah. fuck it. David who Sedaris laughs at like funny that. books? The like, yeah, I mean, or, I mean, I mean like, Terry Pratchett, David Sedaris, uh, you know, uh, uh, Douglas Adams. I mean, there there are there is there is okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but, that's and that's fine, yeah. right? But I mean, a lot of those books came out a very long time ago, right? I'm talking sure. about like, like a current thing right now. So all right, books, cool. Uh, into that. That would mean then if you wanted to be more like that, if that has survived, then now Mad Magazine is a quarterly and it costs $25 or, you know, uh, 75 bucks for the subscription for the year, mm -hmm. right? Or you then now you are going at the high end. I uh, actually, I, I think you might have tapped into something where, um, I, 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 so on the one hand, you would be subverting the brand of what Mad meant because what it meant was affordable, subversive content for young people. Mm -hmm. But the people who loved it the most 
eventually got jobs and made more money, mm-hmm. maybe maybe the brand could have, in an alternate reality, evolved well, and become exclusive isn't that for what people who made money. I thought I thought they're I thought they're going to be re-releasing old I, bad content. So well, I'm, fig- I'm figuring they will be they'll, syndicating they'll be- old content to complete deals oh, to okay. finish out the contract. Yeah. There okay. will be no I new see. content after I, like a Well yeah, yeah no. I, yeah, I was just I was just I just figured that, that they were But like I like mad were like doing like a nostalgia kind of way back machine kind of thing. Mad started off parroting uh like Playboy, but it could have become Playboy or yeah. Esquire or yeah. whatever. Like uh, if if it had evolved with yeah. the generation that that grew up I mean cuz they were doing like fairly biting social satire like yeah. there was like uh, uh like a, a whole like school shooting thing that they did in 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 the the, the reboot and it's like uh that was really funny stuff and it it, it was well I mean funny and thought provoking but they, they were going for that certain thing and it's like okay well if that's what you're doing like I saw it at Whole Foods it's Yeah like, am I buying it at Whole Foods do I get a subscription? If so, where do I get a subscription? Should they be pushing it more online? Can I get it on my phone? Like, there's just a lot of of questions there that, like, if I'm the demo, if, if the demo of I want a uh, uh, laugh as much as I think social commentary. I want to do last week tonight. Uh, uh, that's the new brand of Mad, right? Yeah. Then who buys that? Like, where do they buy that kind of stuff? And how are we courting? <laughs> fucking, fucking Beef Viper in the chat asking the real questions. How come none of the women at Playboy had labia minora? <laughs> uh, real question I had when I discovered my dad's penthouse magazines. Like, like, why are these vaginas different than these vaginas? That's very weird. Yeah. That's a, you know, listen, that's some Alex Jones shit. <laughs> fucking, you had to get down to the truth. You know, find that out. Where the, where they where the labia go? Where'd they go? Where they they gotta go somewhere? They fold them in. Who has them? Chai comms? probably. <laughs> Wanna know what? Hillary Clinton's eating them all. She's got them all in her tummy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eating them. I thought I think, I think Hillary Clinton's a real beef viper. She's just mistaking them for sandwiches, just gobbling them all up. Oh There's no God, more menorah. She subsists on a diet uh, completely uh, of labia minorum. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to look up some information about this new service. About labia minoris. About what labia minoris. I'm yeah. hitting this thing called a V-chip. Now, um, uh, yes, you can. Yeah, whatever happened to Bazooka Joe? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I Did was... Did they rebrand him yet? Well, Bazooka, Bazooka Joe is now here to talk about gerrymandering. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you know, talking a little bit about the agility of a ma- of a monthly magazine versus you know whatever's breaking in any given day. Just because there's so much work that has to go into it logistically, um, not to mention to actually make the content, it, it constantly kind of puts you puts Mad Magazine against memes on twitter well and keep in mind Um, that would have been a strength early on by being a flimsy periodical that comes out you know weekly monthly whatever Uh, they would be fast to pivot so essentially they would be filling the role of now a a parody twitter account or whatever sure and and in fact like justin and i have talked about you know in a perfect situation we would have a studio and a war room ready to go where quite literally within seconds of a of of a story breaking we would instantly have a parody of the story breaking along as the story broke you know like uh for example Mm -hmm. you know let's say um uh the exact moment we know who won the the women's world cup we would already have hot takes about you know the hilarious weird person in the background of this shot so it's like uh so quite literally most people or a significant number of people would find out that USA women's team won the world cup by, by virtue of our, you know, uh, dumb jokes about the person in the background of some shot or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, that's, that's the thing is like speed kills right now in comedy because the, the platforms uh, demand it, right? Like the, the platforms become instantaneous. And so now the funniest possible thing is the thing that uh, as soon as I watch a thing on my TV, I want to look down to Twitter to see who just made the funniest joke that has the best timing. Uh, the, the, the question then becomes like, 
all right, well, you know, what is the role of written anything? Like, what what is the point of it? I mean, yeah. I, I, I think that the point of it is to be the uh, uh, the authoritative uh, take on whatever a thing is, which basically means you have to stop being, you know, night attack and start being, you know, the Wall Street Journal. Because, because by the way, that was like a thing that was uh, apparently there was a real crisis of conscience uh, with Saturday Night Live, and Saturday Night Live, uh, uh, when The Daily Show hit, and John Stewart really made it this gig gigantic culture moving institution. Uh, that's when they went to Tina Fey and Jimmy Fallon and then Tina Fey and Amy, Amy Poehler and then Amy Poehler and Seth Meyers. But once they had run out of the magic of like a lady, a really funny lady, like top of comedy lady is doing this uh, uh, thing. They had Michael Che and or they had uh, whatever uh, uh, forgettable. It was like but Colin Jost and Cicely Tyson. That didn't work. It's like, oh, replacing another lady doesn't work. Take her out. She's a funny cast member. We'll 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 make her in sketches again. And so it was Colin Joes to Michael Che, and that was just like kind of replacement level. Like, oh, these are like jokes I would see on The Daily Show. Not to say that they're bad. They're just kind of like in a crowded space now. And they almost apparently went with Anthony Jeselnik, who is far beyond what would normally normally be like he would be brought in to stretch what you would expect from to be allowed to be said on Saturday Night Live. He would be making he, he would take you back to the Norm Macdonald era of like, oh, yes. Jesus, yeah. really? Wow. OK, like that. We're, we're just going to like openly call people like murderers because like his comedy is like just a. Uh, uh, 2019 version of dead baby jokes like they are like oh i'm like his ending like bit it's all it's, it's, it's specifically special. funny because like you are definitely not allowed to say that because it's fucking awful like uh, jokes include murder suicide is a victimless crime and here's a 15 minute uh routine i did about bringing my friend to an abortion clinic like these are the jokes that he hangs his comedy his new comedies but recently released comedy special on but it's like I can see where where SNL is at a crisis now because that's why they've done all the stunt casting. That's why they've mm -hmm. like like anybody else can do a Trump sketch, but nobody else can do a Trump sketch where Robert De Niro shows up. I, I I'll tell you what though, man. Like of of all of these uh, significant and super deep thoughts about the nature of comedy satire and and progressing as a society, I think Cumversion underscore Therapy really has it when he wants to ask in the chat room. How are they recording split screen? How are we uh, doing that, Bryce? Yeah. Well, you know, here's the right, thing. Is, the uh, uh, most of it is you see these screens, right? <laughs> and they're held together by cum. <laughs> A lot of people come on watching the internet, man. They're coming all the time. You, you, you use it as kind of like a like a like a mortar, you know, to bind these screens. So here we go. All right, all right. Watch this, Bryce. Uh, switch to a, a, a split screen. That's a lot of cum right, right. there. See yeah. the, the vertical access, the horizontal access, cum, all of it. Well, um, and, and, um, um. We, 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 we hire, uh, I mean, I'm, I hate to say it. Uh, they're not, they're not Americans. We hire immigrant labor from the moon and they go, they go, yeah. Jeff. <laughs> they, they, they and Jeff all that's what holds their, everything yeah. together. Yeah. They mm -hmm. Jeff in, they're Jeff in it. And they're, the next thing yeah. you know, we got a lot of cum. We get a good price on our cum, though. I'm just going to let you we know. Because it. it, it, it's because you barrel. buy the bulk, right? Hey, look, yeah, I'm just going to say, don't mess with a show that buys cum by the barrel. All right? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck it. We'll take you down on Pornhub, man. Get ready. We'll take you the fuck down, baby. We got a lot of it. Now, now do you guys, oh, yeah. do you guys all, all is the aftermarket cum, or is it, <laughs> is it like, uh, are you guys. Uh... Oh, we're not doing oh, organic no. yet. Yeah, this yeah, is... yeah, yeah. This is this first party come. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, this is, this is uh... so I hope that answered your question. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks, he says. Good. Okay, okay cool. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, it's midnight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to be up in 
in, in minutes. Hey, he doesn't in, have in that. Just minutes. <laughs> He's like, hey, this guy does. Well, <laughs> hey man, Wolf Glenn ninety nine, best person who ever lived. Uh, take that to the bank. That's right. Yeah, seriously. I'll Everyone's give you my a personal number. DM me. <laughs> all right. Well, from all of us, we'll be back. I don't know. We might have something this weekend. We'll probably have some streams this weekend because Brian's going to be out of town, so we won't have shoots. So. Uh yeah yeah correct. So. Uh, cool. Keep it out here at twitch.tv. Yeah. Contact. Oh, yeah. Go hang out in the Discord. Yeah. Nightattack.tv slash Discord. Everyone follow Mike TV. Mike TV live on Twitch. Go follow him right now. Blow his phone you. up. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Uh, blow up. Load, blow, 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 blow it up. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well. Adios. XOXO. Night, Love you guys. That was that was me tipping a hat. <laughs> not not grabbing an errant hair. Huh? Lifting your scalp. You can do both. <laughs> 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 How can I trust you when you hurt me so bad?